Hey guys, my name is Laura from Melbourne Life Love Travel. I'm finally back at it again with another video. It's taking me a while, but I thought now that I have time, now that I'm working from home, my creative flow is starting to come back. So it also made me realize how much I really do enjoy creating looks and makeup, especially definitely is inspiring me a lot more, inspiring me a lot more. So I know that we can't go out, but Eventually, when that day comes, at least you have some ideas or I can give you some ideas of some looks that you can do yourself. Today's look is a bronzed glow, so that's what I've gone for, my version of it. I've used a lot of golden bronze tones. I've also used some new products to get this shine here and I've used a, a nude lip, but I've also given you some lip options as well. So I've used three di different lip colors to um, achieve a different look with this eyeshadow. Um, yeah, and I think that's about it for this look. I hope you enjoy the tutorial. Uh, thank you so much for coming back and watching this, this one. And I hope that I can do a lot more now that I have the time to do so. So yeah, I hope you're all well. I hope life is, um, yeah, is treating you well and you're good. That's the main thing I think in this is that we can just give ourselves a bit of a break during this time and although it, it can be a little bit stressful the unknown is always a little bit worrying I think we can now just take a step back and just go to our roots of how it was like in the 90s if you were born in the 80s or earlier you know this is kind of what we what we're used to <laughs> we're used to just reading books watching TV um, I guess the advantages are we have social media to keep us occupied but um, yeah, like back in the day, we, we basically did what we're doing now, just enjoying the simple things. So I guess my, my advice, take this moment to look after yourself and go back to the things that you haven't had time for. Just enjoy it as much as you can. And God willing, there will be light at the end of this. There always is. So I have faith that this um, will end soon. So yeah, so back to the look. Sorry, <laughs> got a bit deep there. <laughs> um, but yeah, so a bronzed glow up look, something that you can use for even if you have a, a work conference, online phone call, um, this is something that you could you could do. I guess it's a little bit glam, but um, yeah, take some tips from my, my tutorial and I hope you enjoy it. Thanks again. All right. Mwah. Lots of love. Ciao. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to start off with the Becca First Light Priming Filter. Before I put my makeup on, I always do my skincare. And the last step that I've been adding to my skincare routine is using this face roller. Um, I use it on my lips, actually. It has the most tiniest needles in there. I'm not sure if you can see that. It has the most tiniest needles. I think it's 0.25 millimeters. And I just gently roll it along my lips and up and down until they become plump and exfoliated and then I put a lip gloss on and it just maintains that plumpness throughout um, the day and throughout putting my makeup on and then when I put lipstick on it actually feels a lot more smoother as it exfoliates all the dead skin cells and all the roughness that sometimes your lips can have so I think this is a really good investment um, I bought it from clear skincare and I also use it at night time just before I put my skincare on. Um, but during the day, I definitely do it on my lips and at night as well. But this is um, a really good tool to exfoliate, to plump, and to just get rid of um, dead skin cells. I just feel like that's what it does for my skin. And it's been, it's just worked wonders. So, yeah. Next, I'm going to start with the Stu MAC Studio Fix Concealer in shade number 35. Using concealer first is just how I like to do my makeup. I used to put concealer on after my foundation, but just for some reason I prefer to put it on before. So this is closer to my skin color, so it doesn't look gray um, under my eyes. It actually looks quite warm and gives a bit of life to my under eyes. So I'm just going to put a generous amount because I am putting it on before my foundation. 
and I'm also going to put it here as well just to color correct so when you purchase a concealer that is very similar to your skin tone it actually adds as a color corrector as well so it will cancel out any pigmentation and also give just a bit of um, a glow a bit of life to those areas that need that need it okay so now I'm just going to blend that in and also a bit on the top so that it color corrects the darkness up there Something that I've seen on Instagram lately is this new Revlon Skin Lights. It's a face glow illuminator. It's the bronze, the sunburst bronze shade, so number 305. And I'm going to test it out because I want to go for a very bronzy look today. I thought this would be quite nice. So I'm just going to test it for the first time with you guys. Just going to put a little bit here in here. I've seen some bloggers mix it in with their foundation as well. So Maybe I'll, I'll have to do that, but for now I'll just blend it in like this before foundation. That's quite nice. This could be your overall bronze glow, um, especially if you just want something very subtle. It's actually really nice. I'm very impressed with this. There's not, there's not much coverage at all, but what it does is it just gives a, a bronzed glow to your skin. The foundation I'm going to use today is my all-time favorite. It's Zoeva Fearless 170W. It's an olive tone, um, and this does oxidize, so which means that it will go slightly darker than what it looks like. When you first put it on, it'll look like a certain color, but then if you wait a few seconds or a minute it actually does oxidize so it just goes a little bit darker so I don't mind that because um, this is quite a nice match for my skin tone I almost forgot there's one thing that I actually love to do before I put foundation on it's use the Becca ever matte primer and this primer is just amazing for oily skin so I'll put it on the areas where I get the oiliest oh that fell okay let's start that again <laughs> so I'm just gonna put it on the places where I get the oiliest and this will definitely uh, make your skin matte in the places where you need it to be matte it's my friend. This product is my friend. <laughs> so it's Becca Ever Matte Primer. And always remember to do your neck as well. This product does go a long way and if you feel like you've put too much on um, it's a good idea just to get that excess and put it on your neck and any places where your skin is exposed and I will make sure to blend that in a bit later but for now I'll just blend in the foundation. It's one of my favorite foundations. I just feel like it has a very natural looking finish. It's glowy, but not too shiny. And it just lasts all day. It just gives the skin such a nice finish. I really, really love this one. So another thing I like to do is put foundation on the neck so that it all matches and then with a big brush I'll just grab some bronzer and I'll fill in the rest of my chest area so that it all blends in together. Okay, now the fun part, eyeshadow. My go-to before any look is to use a bronzer just in this area here. And that's just going to create some warmth so that all the eyeshadow colors uh, combine and look nice together. 
So I'm just going to put some contour here using a Morphe palette. Now using Rimmel Magnifies, Magnifies I think it's called, um, this is a bronzy crayon um, eyeshadow. So I'm just going to grab a little bit of that with a dense brush and just put it, kind of just like use it like an eyeliner. And going in with the Morphe eyeshadow palette, I'm going to use this bronzy pink tone. With my finger. Just that front part there. Now I'm going to use a matte shade and I'm going for a caramel bronzed colour, so it's called Forever. I'm going to go a little bit higher with this one as well. And now using a deeper reddish brown colour, it's called Define. I'm just going to put that under the lower lashes. And now using a Zoeva eyeshadow palette, I'm going to go for a caramel um, sparkly eyeshadow and I'm going to put it all in this area here. And using the same, that rose coloured bronze colour that I used here, I'm just going to grab an eyeshadow brush and dip it into the eyeshadow and just bring it up a little bit in here. With a fluffier brush, I'm going to grab a neutral shade and just blend it all here. The 
shade that I used is called Natural. It's that one there. And using Laura Mercier translucent loose setting powder, I'm just going to set underneath my eyes. Making sure that I don't touch any of the cheek area because I really like this shine here. So I'm just doing under the eyes and just a little bit in here. That's it. So off the camera, I just put mascara on and a chocolate brown eyeliner just in the waterline. And now I'm going to move on to some powder contour. Using the Morphe palette, just going to warm up this area here. Now I'm going to use a very subtle blush. It's like a rose, a rose pink. It's called Passionate by Sephora. So I'm just going to grab some of that. Just warm up the cheeks with a bit of colour. And using my Revlon Stick Highlighter in Gold Light, I just put the tiniest amount of highlighter just in this area here and I brought it up and I stopped around there. So now I'm just going to blend that in. Just for a subtle glow. So I don't want to do anything too drastic on the lips this time, I actually just want to make the eyes the focal point, but I did find um, a lip liner that actually matches my lip tone and I did mention this on Insta stories the other day. So it's a lip liner that I use when I can't be bothered wearing lipstick and it just basically fills in your lips and gives you a bit of a plumpness glow to them without using lipstick. So this is um, the color, it's Frenchy, and it's the closest that I could find to my lip color. It has a very matte look. So I've done the outline and now I'm just going to fill them all in. And that face roller has really helped with my lips, they're so soft. Okay, so that's what using a lip liner that's similar to your lip color looks like. It's very subtle. It just adds a hint of pink to your lips and you don't have to worry about touching up lipstick or touching up a gloss. This is basically all you need. So you can just fill them in. The Morphe lip liners are quite long lasting so you won't find yourself topping up too much but it really just does adds that glow that little hint of color and at least you feel like you've got something on your lips and then your eyes can be your focal point so that's one way of doing it if you want to see this look with a lipstick then I'll, I'll choose something and I'll put that on on top of the lip liner okay so if you want to add something a little bit extra to your lips on top of the lip liner I love this Morphe um, matte lipstick it's called wifey it's a very nude a uh, nude pinkish lip color and I'm just going to Pop that on top of my lips, on top of the lip liner. And 
that gives it a little bit more of a pop maybe, a bit more nude on the lips. And if you feel like you'd probably want something a little bit more vibrant, well then uh, I was thinking of going with the Huda Beauty Joyride, which is more of a purpley pink colour. Joyride, yeah. So I'll just dab this off a little bit. So it has more of a deeper purple colour. And that's what it looks like. <laughs> so yeah, you have a few options there that you can experiment with. Um, but yeah, I do really like just doing the lip liner just on its own, cut, filling in all the lips and finding a shade that is close to your lip colour so it just looks very natural. So I've just put back the Morphe Wifey, Morphe Wifey lipstick on top because I preferred more of the neutral nude shade. But guys, this is the final look. Um, it's very nice to be back doing these videos and seeing that we've got a, you know more time now. So yeah, I've just um, finished curling my hair as well and I hope that I can do a tutorial for you properly on YouTube of how I do my waves. Um, but yeah, this is my version of a bronzed, glowy look, makeup look. So thank you for watching. Mwah. Thanks for joining in. Bye. <laughs>